Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Melissa Crafter and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this epoxy free glitter stapler using Grand Finale from the Crystalline Company. I also went in and added a decal using Tech Wrap Vinyl. Along with the stapler, I also made an epoxy free matching pen, which I'll also show you how I made in this video. So if that is something that you're interested in, please continue watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I do upload a new video every Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. So here's the stapler that I'm going to be using. I did purchase it on Amazon. It came in this little box here. I will link it down below in the video description along with everything else that I use in this video. Now to be able to glitter and put it on your turner, you do have to remove the top part off the stapler. Don't worry, you'll be able to put it right back on once you're done. To remove the top part, all you have to do is open the stapler as you would if you were to be putting staples in it. Then you want to push this top part down. There'll be a little space for you to unclamp it. Once you unclamp that top part, you also want to unhook this bottom area here on each side. Now I'm going to take the bottom part of my stapler that I won't be using right now and I'm going to put it back in the box just so that I won't misplace it. Now this top part of the stapler, which is what we're going to be working with, I'm going to take 220 grit sanding paper and I'm going to give it a good sand. You want to scuff up your surface, that way your products have a good surface to adhere on well to. Since I am going in and adding a base color, glitter, and a top coat, I am going in and giving this a really good sand. After sanding, I'm going in with a napkin here and I'm just going to clean off my stapler. So now I'm going to go ahead and base paint my stapler top using Universal White from the Crystalac Company. I am going to take a piece of painter's tape here and cover a small part of my stapler top where I'm going to be adding my black glitter. Since I am going to be adding my black glitter there, I don't need any Universal White on that part. So as mentioned, I'm going to go in with Universal White from the Crystalline Company as my base paint. If you have the flippin' awesome paints that would match, you can use those as well. I'm just going to go in with Universal White. I am only going to add one coat of Universal White and then I'm going to allow this to dry for four hours. So within this tutorial, I'm also going to be making a matching pen. These are the pens that I use. They're the Paper May Inkjoy pens. I did remove the clip that these pens come with and I disassembled the pen and added it onto this wooden dowel. And then I also sanded this pen down using 220 grit sanding paper. If you are wanting to see how I prep these pens from removing the clip to sanding them down and disassembling them, I will put a video down below in the video description of a tutorial, pen tutorial that I made about a year ago that shows that entire step. I 
These wooden dowels are from Dollar Tree. I do put a little bit of painter's tape on the tip here just so that it can fit the pen a little bit better. I am going to go in and base paint my pen with Universal White as well. Now I was trying to figure out a way to have this um, be able to stay on my cup turner. I don't have a cup foam insert that would fit into this top piece of the stapler. So if there's a will, there's a way. So what I did was I got, I had this from a package that I received. It's just a piece of foam. It is a pretty thick foam. So what I did was I cut out a piece that would fit into the stapler. I did want it to fit pretty snug. That way it won't fall off of my turner. So I did cut it a little bit bigger and then I just kind of shoved it in there. Now I'm going to take my PVC pipe that hooks onto my cup turner and I'm going to hot glue it to this foam. Now, this is just what worked for me. If you have something that works better or is specific for the stapler tops to stay on your turner, definitely use that. This is just something that I came up with super quick and it honestly worked better than I thought it would. So I just thought I'd share how I got my stapler top to fit on my cup turner. So now I'm going to go ahead and glitter my stapler. The glitters that I'm going to be using are from Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. and also from Glitzy Girl Glitter. The Sugar and Spice glitters that I'm going to be using is this yellow one here that's called Teacher's Pet, this gold one that's Bailey, and the pink one that's called Hot Girl Summer. I will link these glitters down below in the video description. I do have a discount code with Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. You can use promo code Melissa Crafter to save 10% off at checkout. I am also going to be using two glitters from Glitzy Girl Glitter. I'm going to be using this silver one that's called Silver Bell. And I'm going to be using this black one that's called Raven. Link these two glitters down below in the video description as well. I do have a discount code with Glitzy Girl Glitter as well. You can use promo code MelissaCrafter10 at checkout for 10% off of your order. My black glitter, since it is a fine and chunky mix, I'm going to be using a strainer to separate the chunky glitter from the fine glitter. I only want to use the fine glitter in this glitter, so I'm going to separate it using the strainer. So here's the black glitter that I'm going to be using. I'm going to put it in this little container. I am also going to add a little bit of the silver glitter onto the black glitter to make it sparkle a little bit more. Now I'm going to take some painter's tape and I'm going to tape off each section of my stapler where each glitter is going to go. Here I already added where my gold glitter is going to go. All I did was take a strip of painter's tape and I cut into zigzags and that's where my gold glitter is going to go. Now I'm taping off a section of the bottom part of my stapler which is where my pink glitter is going to go for the eraser of the pencil. Now I'm taking another piece of painter's tape and I'm taping off where my silver glitter is going to go. So here I'll add my black glitter, my gold glitter, my yellow glitter, my silver, and then my pink glitter. To adhere my glitter, I'm going to be using glitter glue from the Crystal Act Company. So I'm going to be doing it by sections. I'm going to first add glitter glue to this top part where I'm going to add my black glitter. You want to add your glitter glue and spread it out evenly, avoiding any streaks. Once you have your glitter glue on there, go ahead and add your glitter. The next glitter that I'm going to be doing is the yellow glitter. So I'm going to add my glitter glue onto this middle area. 
You do wanna make sure that you're using different brushes for each glitter color or washing your brushes in between each glitter color. That way you don't get any of your glitters mixed together. Next, I'm removing my painter's tape here where my silver glitter should go. And then I'm going to add my glitter glue and then I'm going to add my silver glitter. I am using flat tacklon brushes, that way I don't get each glitter color mixed up as I'm adding my glitter glue. These flat brushes allow me to add my glitter glue in the precise location where I want it. After each glitter color, I am tapping off any excess glitter that didn't adhere on to my stapler, which helps to prevent your glitter colors from mixing. Next, I'm gonna remove this bottom painter's tape and then I'm going to add my glitter glue and add my pink glitter. And last, I'm going to remove this last painter's tape, which I have cut into zigzags to add my gold glitter. Again, I'm going in with my flat tacklon brush here and adding my glitter glue. Again, it helps with adding my glitter glue in precise locations, especially in situations like this where I'm adding it in a zigzag pattern. After adding my glitter glue, I'm gonna go in and add my gold glitter. Now, this stapler did need two coats of glitter given that I did use Universal White as my base paint. So I'm going to allow this first coat of glitter to dry for two hours and then I'm going to go in and add a second coat of glitter. So now I'm going to be glittering my pen. To do that, I'm going to be using the same glitters and glitter glue. To glitter my pen, I'm going to add glitter glue to the entire pen and I'm not going to separate each color by section. First glitter color that I'm going to be using is the gold color. I'm going to add it to the bottom part of my pen and I'm going to um, sort of ombre it going down. I'm not going to add it to a huge section of my pen, just about an inch. Next, I'm going to add my yellow glitter, which I'm going to add to the middle section of my pen. I am going to ombre it downward, that way it can blend in with the gold glitter. I am going to leave about an inch of the top of my pen so that I can add my pink glitter. Then to that last section, I'm going to add my pink glitter. So now after allowing my stapler to dry for two hours, I'm gonna go in and add a second coat of glitter. To add my second coat, I'm also going to be using glitter glue and I am going to be using the same brush. I'm just going to be cleaning it in between each glitter color so I don't get any of the glitters mixed up. So I'm just going in, adding my glitter glue directly on top of each glitter color and adding my glitter. I am going to speed up the video just for the sake of time while I'm adding the second coat of glitter. And here is how my stapler looks after the second coat of glitter. I am going to allow this to dry for the two hours of dry time that is required for glitter glue to fully dry. I'm also going to go in and add a second coat of glitter to my pen. I'm going to add glitter glue to my entire pen and then go in and add each glitter color. After adding the second coat of glitter to my pen, I'm going to allow it to also dry for two hours. 
Now that my second coat of glitter has fully dried, I'm gonna go in and add a coat of glitter glue to my entire stapler. I'm doing this so I can seal up my glitter and there will be a protective barrier between my glitter and my top coat. This helps the glitter to stay put. Once I go in and add my top coat, I won't have any glitter moving around or any glitter fallout. While doing this, I am cleaning my brush off in between each glitter color. That way I don't have any of my glitter colors mixing. After adding my coat of glitter glue, I am going to allow this to dry for two hours. I do repeat this step one more time just to ensure that my glitter is well sealed before I go in and add my top coat. I'm going to also go in and seal up my glitter on my pen using glitter glue. So now my stapler is completely dry and my glitter is sealed. So I'm going to go in with my top coat. I'm going to be using Grand Finale from the Crystalac company as my top coat. Grand Finale is an epoxy free non-toxic top coat. Since it is non-toxic, it is completely safe to use even indoors. It is a water-based top coat that can be recoated every two hours. You can purchase this top coat at the crystalaxstore.com. I will have it linked down below in the video description. So with Grand Finale, a glossy finish is built up of several thin coats. So you wanna apply a nice, thin, even coat. You can use either your finger or a brush, whichever you feel more comfortable with. After adding my coat, I'm going to allow my stapler to spin for an hour and then dry for an additional hour to total two hours of dry time for each coat. I don't record every coat of Grand Finale that I give my stapler or my cups if I were to be making a cup. Um, just because every coat of Grand Finale is added the same, you wanna add a coat every two hours until you're satisfied with the gloss finish. I do go in and sand my stapler after every three to four coats, which helps smoothen out the stapler and in turn, you can achieve a glossy finish faster. I'm also going to go in and add a coat of Grand Finale to my pen. So here both my stapler and my pen have about four to five coats of Grand Finale and I'm going to give both of them a nice level sand. As mentioned earlier, sanding just helps smoothen out your pen and stapler, which in turn helps you achieve a glossy finish faster. So here after sanding, I'm gonna take these back inside and continue adding my coats of Grand Finale until I can no longer feel the glitter which is when I'll add my decals.
So while I continue to coat my stapler and pen, getting it smooth enough for my decals, I'm going to be working on my decals that I'm going to be adding to both. I am adding a teacher name to both using Tech Wrap's glossy vinyl. This black vinyl is part of Tech Wrap's 001 glossy collection. So here I'm going in with my Tech Wrap weeding pen, weeding out the excess vinyl. I did cut out these name decals using my Cricut Explore Air 2 cutting machine. If you're looking for quality vinyl, definitely check out the TechRap website. I do have a discount code with TechRap. You can use promo code MelissaCrafter10 to save at checkout. On the TechRap website, you'll find all type of vinyl from basic colors to specialty vinyl. You can also find different types of weeding tools like the one I'm using here. So here both my pen and stapler are ready for decals. So I'm going to be adding both of my name decals on to my pen and my stapler. The size that I did for my pen decal was 2.5 by 0.4. Here I'm taking my transfer tape and I'm adding my decal onto my pen. I did place my pen here on my tech wrap scraper to keep it in place. I am now going to add my name decal onto my stapler. The size that I did for the name decal for my stapler was 2.5 by 0 0.7. To my pen, I also added this little piece of silver vinyl to make it look more like a pencil. To make these vinyl strips, I did use Tech Wrap's holographic matte vinyl in the color rainbow silver. To make these vinyl strips, I cut rectangles the size 1.5 by 0.2 on my Cricut Explore Air 2 cutting machine. So now that I have added my decals, I'm going to go in and continue to coat my stapler and my pen with Grand Finale every two hours until I'm satisfied with the gloss finish. So here my stapler is fully complete and I'm going to reassemble my stapler. And here I'm going to be reassembling my pen. And here is the end result. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments. My DMs over on Instagram are always open for questions as well. My Instagram is melissacrafter00. I'll have it linked down below in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I do upload a new video every Sunday. Thank you so much for watching.